so we bring in some elements of the rocky road as well. So I mean, uh, this can be easily transformed into a little bit of a bluesy version as well if you want to do that. Uh, something that we particularly like for this drink. Pretty good shot of rum. Go panya, or you can go with uh, any drugs. Yeah, the dark spirits in general. Pretty well. Top that up. Top of ice cream. Still a little amount from here. Then. This is a little guilty pleasure of mine, but Oreos. Little, little baby Oreos. Scattered up of those on top. So we're stepping into the realm of the dessert more than drink. But uh, yeah. very much. as long as it's got some coffee in there, and am all there. So here we go. We got this full brew concentrate. I'm just going to pour that over on top. Yeah, so you can enjoy the goodness as well. Stir that around a little bit, get the ice cream to melt in a little bit of coffee. And then you have a little rocky rose affogato. With or without the alcohol, the choices are yours. And uh, that's the first drink. So ice cream, marshmallows, macadamia nuts, baby Oreos, and let's say 50 to 60 milliliters or two ounces of cold brew concentrate. Unless you can get yourself an espresso, that works as well. This is just very convenient to keep in the fridge and off you go. Cool. So I'll put this one here and then I'm going to hand it over to Danny. He's going to be doing something to get you maybe perked up a little bit. Sure thing. So I think we've all we haven't had one in both of these. We've seen on the menu, uh, an espresso martini. Uh, I can't really call it an espresso martini, but we're going to use the espresso. We're going to use our super concentrate for this one instead. And instead of going the traditional nutty chocolatey route, we're going to use a little bit more like elevated spirits, uh, elevated flavor, sorry, and add some amaro inside to get those uh, nice botanical. And then you just wash it up, get a little bit more of those uh, coffee notes in there, and a little bit more of the taste from the flowers. Uh, so, the flowers is the coffee we're using, so that's our last time. It's kind of a few minutes. I'm just going to write the recipe here in the chat. We have a few small groups of small micro ones. We have a few Check in, how's the music level, Sarah? I, I went a little bit loud. <laughs> Are we, we better now? Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of. There we go. The Sorry about that. Sir. DJ Benny's making sure the tunes are right here. Excellent. Alright, so next, just pop it up nice. Those of you that are accustomed to making drinks, it should come as no surprise. The more ice you use, the better for your drinks. The less dilution and the colder it will be, quicker. So we're going to fill this up way to the top, give it a good hard shake. So 
too crazy. Uh, you want to get this nice cappuccino effect happening. Excuse me, sir. I need some uh, little tools here. Make sure we don't end up with a crunchy mess of a cocktail. We're going to use a little fine screen here and make sure that we get away any of those ice crushed particles. Just get a nice, smooth, fluffy drink. This one is traditionally made with espresso, but as we said, this is a very concentrated, uh, cold brew coffee. And we actually do it a little bit differently than um, I assume most people do. We do uh, an ice concentration as well. So after we've actually brewed this coffee, um, when we use the cocktail, we like to uh, freeze it completely, make sure it's a solid block, and then thaw and filter the coffee at the same time in a chiller. That way, once uh, your liquid has, uh, or rather, once your ice block has become liquid again, you will be left with a very highly concentrated coffee. And you will have a little clear ice block sitting on top of your filter in your fridge. This makes it very much closer to what you can experience in a espresso. And uh, this works phenomenally when you want to mix it with anything. So we're just adding a little bit of orange zest here. The orange notes go very well with the coffee and the amaro as a whole. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, different take on a familiar friend. So, cheers. <laughs> Perfect, like, after work drink, happy hour time. You're closing down your cafe, you want to get a little bit more business going. Do a couple of cool co uh, coffee cocktails, tea cocktails, sky's the limit. We're just going to do a few fun ones here that we like uh, ourselves, but um, especially now when Times are tough for, for Horeca. It's a good way if you do have a coffee shop to kind of drum up a little bit extra business, to put a few cocktails, maybe have a little happy hour, get the people in your neighborhood or in your office block to kind of come support after hours, uh, drinks, 